Hello, Fisherman and Ed. This is the second video of the night. We have here Matt. Hi, everybody. And Angus. Yes, hi. Yeah. So, uh, since I've never met them before, I want you guys to participate in my Q&A session because I am curious. As a content creator, as an influencer, I, actually, I don't really see me as any of those stuff. I just been, uh, I'm just tired of uh, not seeing anything interesting on YouTube about Bitcoin Cash. So, since the, anything I created so far is very interesting audience, I'd like to know more about you guys, actually. You know a lot about me, but I know yeah. nothing about you. Let yeah, me yeah. ask you a few questions, and I hope you can give me some... AMI, ask me anything. Okay, cool. All right. Okay. Uh, tell me, um, why, why did you decide to actually come here at all? What, what is the reason you come here? Um, because it's to do with cryptocurrency, and I, I love everything about cryptocurrency. Right. And I have a huge interest in it. We have a group of our own that we host and we do things for people. So I thought I'd come along and see what it's all about and just see, you know, what, what the deal is with Bitcoin Cash. Right. And what's going on with it, yeah. Ah. Like what's going on for the future. And I wanted to, you know, just see if it's about mining in particular or if it's yeah. more about investment and yeah. that sort of stuff, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Cool. And now, uh, same question to you, Angus. Yeah, so I work for a tech company based yeah. in the Gold Coast. Um, yeah. We use blockchain technology, not for cryptocurrency, not for smart contracts, but um, yeah. we are going to launch a utility token next month. Oh, cool. So I kind of want to come along and also just a bit crypto curious, so come along and learn a bit more about Bitcoin Cash, but also kind of get a feel for what people are into right now. And um, yeah, if there are more average Joes getting into the crypto right. thing. Wow, that's so cool. Okay, now I have a question for both of you. Yeah. Uh, do you actually know what is my price target for 2025 for Bitcoin Cash? No. I do. No, I don't. No. Okay, let me just uh, say here. Um, my, my lawyer audience will know it, the number is pretty outrageous. So let me prepare you for this. $500,000 coin. In 2025. 2025. 2025. In about four years. In four years' time. I'm firmly believing that Bitcoin Cash will reach a price level roughly around half a million Aussie dollars. Wow. What would Bitcoin reach? About the same. About the same. They were trading at equal value. Yeah. That's very high. What, what, that, any particular reason? Uh, I will tell you the reason later, but I, what I want to capture is the original impression of a person who just said, oh, wait a minute, who is that? <laughs> My gosh, we have the special no. guest which I didn't reveal. Hey, special guest, hey. who are you? Hayden Otto. Yeah, of course, everybody knows your face. The Bitcoin Cash City in North Queensland. Yes, that's right. Okay, we'll come back to you later. But now I want to capture the... <laughs> Bye. <laughs> we want to capture the, the shocking experience of hearing this for the first time, because I like that. Because most people who watch my channel know what I'm predicting. And a lot of them coming back again and again, watching all my videos because of this prediction. Yeah. And by the way, I made in the last um, uh, eight weeks, I made more than, um, I think, 150 videos. Yeah. Only talking about this one thing. It's amazing. Yeah. So, I, what, what, so what do you think is going to make that price happen? What's the... Okay. There's quite a few reasons, yeah. but uh, the ultimate reason is actually that Bitcoin Cash will end up capturing majority of the transactions on the Bitcoin network. Because the Bitcoin network, the BTC network, and Bitcoin Cash network is actually more compatible than you think. I, I, I'll give a good example. Any person who buy a Bitcoin, how difficult is for that person to switch from Bitcoin to Ethereum? Yeah. How, is that difficult or is that easy? No, it's difficult. Super easy, right? Sorry? No, I said it's difficult. No, uh, is that difficult? No, I don't know. But, I think uh, it's easy, but there's like fees involved. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It yeah. could be easy, yeah. put it that way. No, okay. It costs. Right. So th the one coin they can switch over the easiest way for any investor is actually Bitcoin Cash because Bitcoin Cash and Bitcoin are identical in origin, yeah. identical in supply, yeah. identical in mining equipment. And everything is identical except Bitcoin Cash is faster, easier and cheaper to use. So. Imagine, imagine this, you have two payment systems, one is Visa, one is MasterCard, and both in your wallet, you have two cards, but the Visa card charge you, let's say, 1% fee, yeah. but MasterCard charge you 100% fee. So which one are you going to use, obviously? Which one are you going to use? Yeah. 100%, you're going to use the, the Visa card, just one percent Correct. Yeah. And now the funny thing is in the Bitcoin and Bitcoin Cash space, is exactly the same. When I say 100% fee, I'm not even joking. Yeah. In Bitcoin, if you want to transact anything below the minimum fee of something like $8, $9, not only you can't 
uh, you, you don't get anything, you can't even activate the transaction. They don't even allow you to transact. Have, have you ever, ever sent five dollars worth of Bitcoin to somebody else? No, but I've sent other stuff to other people, yeah. Yeah, but not Bitcoin, right? Not Bitcoin, no. Yeah, for a good reason. So, uh, I believe firmly, this is one part of the reason why I'm making such a prediction, that I believe firmly that Bitcoin itself is going to dominate yeah. over most other cryptos. Not only because of the branding, but also because of the design. The original design of Bitcoin is so genius that it can never be eradicated by anybody, including governments. Yeah. And, and, and they, um, However, Bitcoin, as we know today, is stagnating. It's been taken over by a private ent enterprise, actually. Yeah. So Bitcoin Cash is the one that's still carrying on the original mission by Satoshi Nakamoto. And that is the crazy part. So most people who study Bitcoin from 2009, 2010 period, when they look at Bitcoin today, if you don't give them a label, ask them which one is that real Bitcoin, yeah. I guarantee you everyone say Bitcoin Cash is the real Bitcoin. Because if you define Bitcoin based on the white paper, you have to follow the white paper, then you will see that the Bitcoin Cash today do the same thing as Bitcoin did to back then. A good example is Satoshi Dice, is the gambling site. Satoshi Dice is one of the most easy to use gambling sites in the world for online gambling, uh, crypto-based online gambling. In the first few years when they started Satoshi Dice, 80%, up to 80% of daily transactions on the Bitcoin network was Satoshi Dice transaction. Yeah. Can you imagine that? People love to gamble on Satoshi Dice. Yeah. And now Satoshi Dice only works on Bitcoin Cash. It doesn't work on any other crypto okay. chain. Yeah, that is how crazy it goes. Yeah. But that is only just one reason uh, for the market cap to go insane. So that's one of the many reasons. But, but watch my channel, watch my videos, and you will see I didn't go crazy uh, with my prediction. However, now I swing over to the Bitcoin Cash guy. Do you think All I'm right. crazy about a half a million dollar coin? I don't know. I explained before that uh, I think uh, the price has been performing pretty poorly. But that still hasn't changed any of the fundamentals or anything. Like it's severely undervalued. Okay. So, I think yeah. one reason the pricing performing poorly because the tether people prefer BTC. Yeah, I agree. It's the tether game. I think yeah. I think the whole market's totally manipulated, and the whole market cap of anything it's like uh, not really a metric that people should be using to determine the value of an asset. It's right. Not, it's not real. Right. Wow. Okay. So what is your personal expectation for pricing going forward? How do you think the price will be by end of this year? Oh, I already said that I, um, I think it's possible to hit 3,000 by the end of the year. Yeah, that's and easy. And it got pretty close already, like... Um, yeah, it was 2,000 plus. Like 1,700 US dollars. Yeah, 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 yeah. Aussie dollar went as high as 2,100, I think. Yeah. yeah. So uh, that means in the long term, any long term predictions? Long term, I definitely believe that Bitcoin Cash will surpass Bitcoin. I think Bitcoin's going to go nothing. It's worthless. Like, ah. There's nothing good about it, really. Okay, and I got it. coming from a guy that was in Bitcoin yes. five years ago. Oh, so I see. It's, there, there's no reason to be in Bitcoin anymore. And I think we're just like really early to the party here in Bitcoin Cash. Right. Uh, nowadays... Um, we're seeing that, like, uh, in the mainstream, that, uh, like, oh, everyone knows about Bitcoin now, and it's kind of becoming more accepted. Yes. But five years ago, that wasn't the case. Yes. Five years ago, Bitcoin was, like, what Bitcoin Cash is now. Right. And so it's probably the same situation. Okay, cool. I Thank suspect. you. Thank you, Hayden. Yeah. I'm going to put myself on the camera and then do some conclusion for the next 30 seconds. Mm -hmm. All right, everybody. Now I finally figured out why Hayden is so pessimistic. I'd say pessimistic, <laughs> okay? Uh, because uh, now I know, finally, I know why. I always want to ask him this question, but now for the first time I asked this question in person without without any... T um, we didn't, we didn't uh, prepare this. We didn't discuss this. This is completely organic. Everything's real. All right, we have a witness here, uh, and we even have a silent and invisible witness to my left, to your right, but I'm not gonna show you the face. So, uh, what happens now is this. The reason why he is pessimistic about BTC and I'm not is because market, natural way how market behave is not what we think it will do. It's always about how other people see 
the market is the deciding factor. So that means it doesn't matter how I think about BTC. I need to accurately predict how other people see BTC. And I believe personally, everyone in the world, the first step in the Bitcoin will be Bitcoin, BTC. And from there, they will go further. Once it got the first BTC, it's like internet. When you first time using an internet service like a browser or a computer, you start with a PC, an Internet Explorer. But once you realize there's a better browser out there, a better computer out there, you may switch over to a Mac and switch to Chrome. But you have to start somewhere, and you usually start where everyone else tells you to start, which is uh, Bitcoin in this case. But does that mean Windows will go to zero? No, not at all, because I, I'm old enough to remember how people fought Windows over uh, Windows over Mac and other things. Mac is superior, Windows is useless, Microsoft should be worth zero. I heard all that before. Didn't happen because we all start somewhere first and everybody starts in Bitcoin and they're gonna migrate themselves into the better place. And the same thing happens in real estate. The first person who comes to Australia starts with one location, a migrant, but then he find out where's the best place to live best value to go, then he put his money where he thinks is the best place. But he always starts at the airport first. <laughs> so this is how I see that. And I could be wrong, however, based on my 25 years experience, I think Bitcoin has a legitimate reason to exist, which is a catchment area. It's like the airport launch. Oh, yeah, it's luring. <laughs> yes, into correct. And then they discover what correct. This is, for me, that has a legitimate reason. Also, don't forget, the size of the actual non-crypto world is gigantic. They are in trillions and trillions and trillions. We're talking about hundreds, thousands of trillions of dollars outside the crypto has to come in first. And the, land, the lending area is always Bitcoin. From there, the first place people will go is Bitcoin Cash. That's the reason I'm so bullish on them. Because once you start using it, you want to use the best one. And this is one part of the reason why I'm incredibly bullish on Bitcoin Cash. Not because I'm bearish on Bitcoin nor am I bearish on Ethereum. I believe all this will do well. However, I, I am quite bearish on quite a few scam coins. I'm not gonna name names, okay? All I can say is this, in the long term, there will be maybe three coins surviving, three. No more than three coins will survive. Which the three will be, I'm not 100% sure, but one of the three will carry the name Bitcoin. So we'll see how this works. And because every other network always happen the same thing. Three survivors. Thousands of competitors, only three survivors. Always has been the case. We'll see how this pans out. All right, see you in the next video. Bye. <laughs>